Hey guys, first thing, I want to say sorry if my English was bad cause I'm not so good in English but yeah, I hope you understand me what I said. So, I want to show you how to install Intel HD 620 driver to Intel UHD 620 in Windows 7. Uh, it's basically the same modification with Intel SD 620 to Windows 7 64 in the 7 64-bit. We modification the ENF file and make it work with Windows 7 64-bit. So here is the original driver for Intel SD 620, and this I was extracted to B folder, and let's edit the ENF file. I miss it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here we go. Did so first an Intel HD 620 using hardware ID is dev 5916, but Intel USD using 5917. That's why if you follow Intel HD 620 to with up to Windows 7 driver modding, it will not work because the dev ID is different. So we will change it and make it work with Intel SD 620. This is the model, the original ENF file. So what we search which is DAF underscore 5916. Find next, and as you can see, this is the driver for Intel. HD 620 and if you want to know something Intel SD 620 and Intel USD 620 is almost the same thing the difference is just the output that Intel SD 620 support 4K 60fps with display port and HDMI 2.0 and this Intel SD 620 does not and that's a 100 MHz clock different and it's not much and it's not make it so so worse from under on grid no it's just 100 megahertz different so back to the topic so basically what i do doing here is just replace all of dev 5916 replace it dev 5917 the intel usd one and replace all then you can see it was changed the original is 5916 to 5917 so copy hit this then copy and then search here windows 7 so what i'm going to do oh i forgot you must replace this too Basically, we put all. See, we put done, and then just do it here. Almost the same modification with Intel HD 620 on Windows 7, but we change it a little bit more. So let's change it to SKLD. Windows 7 here and PCIe fan and just save it done so this is a uh, modified <laughs> this is modified too let's make a uh, let's extract the real one the original already okay let's wait oh yes I'm using Intel Core i5 8250U in Intel in Acer A5 467G 476G I'm sorry here you can see it so in it use Intel UHD 620 done so this is the original one I'll show you what happened yeah you maybe know it 
See, this computer does not meet the minimum requirements for installing the software. But with our modified driver here, it works. And just next, let it install. This will take a long time, so maybe I'll just pause it and see you later. Oh yeah, when this show, you must press this, install this driver software anyway. And let's pause it again. So yeah, installation successful. Next. And we must restart. And after I restart, uh, you will see the error will enable default. And also with the Windows Experience Index. Okay, what for this? <laughs> Actually, I was installing it before, so and I uninstall it and Windows detect it. I changed the hardware, so it was great. But yeah, this is the Intel SD620. Oh, I mean Intel USD620 with Intel SD620 driver, 6.8 graphic and gaming graphic. The uh, I haven't found any bug. Brightness work, sleep work, hibernate work, and gaming still good. And Nvidia Optimus is work too. Uh, I don't know with AMD, but Nvidia works because I'm using Nvidia GeForce M X M X one four fifty. So yeah, we need to restart it. You need to restart to your computer before the change you made. And yeah, that's it. Now you using Intel SD six two zero driver with to Intel USD six two zero on Windows seven. I hope this video help you who want to install Windows seven in KB like reference processor especially with Intel SD Intel USD six two zero and once again sorry for my bad English cause I'm not so great with English and uh, thank you for watching. You may dislike if my my language is so bad. Yeah, because I know it bad.